hello friends so we are back with another video and uh, i am introducing now this time i am introducing a veg another vegetable and this time i am introducing something hot that is chili and uh, in our indian cuisine have you uh, perhaps uh, seen that uh, we use chili lot of chili in generally in northern india as is rajasthan western india as and all that rajasthan and all places they use lot of chili in south india also they use lot of chili and chili is in chili is uh, consumed in two forms uh, in the ripened form and in, and also in the natural form or also in the dried form and this dried form of chili is very dangerous anyway but still we use this in our cuisine and uh, this dried chilies are done just by drying the ripened chilies the red chilies when red chilies are taken out from the plants and they are just dried in the sunlight and therefore they go through the natural environment and uh, they go aqua fungus and so here in this uh, camera you can see uh, they, this is dried chili so we are now going to work our work on this and this dried chili has aqua fungus so it is in the powder form the fungus is in the yet we is in it totally totally dried and it is in the powder form so this is very dangerous and this can be airborne so i have to use proper face mask now i am wearing a pp suit and therefore after when i am opening this open this uh, tube i will be using um, i will be using a face mask a proper uh, face mask and then i will able to open this and i will be using it is to show you and to put them in the culture media and we'll be find out finding out which fungus is it generally this type of uh, chilies this dried chilies and this type of the appearance of the fungus appearance of the chili uh, looks that it can catch three types of fungus one is mycorrhizium one can be mycorrhizium which contains the trichothecin uh, mycotoxin another one is phomphosis and uh, this pomposis fungus and the third third one uh, is cilindro carpicon it may cannot be but it can be uh, that is that we will discuss after that we will see after when the first investigation or the second investigation when the fungal growth will come in front of us in the uh, through the microscope we will able to see which form it is so let us begin the transformation of this uh, of this why green red chili red chili powder or rather red chili flex from this we will acquire this acquire the fungus and we will just put them into the culture media so here we are using another culture media that is the sodium acetate differential agar so let us see what this culture media gives us and uh, when the later on what can we see from this green chili so let us begin the experiment we are going to begin the experiment and as you can see here the agate it has been already morselated mor inside the agate the fungus is fungus is started coming out from the red chili and we will be going to put this fungus we are we will be discarding the seeds as you can see the seeds are not our interest we are interested in the skin of the only skin of the uh, skin of the chili so we are going to discard and we will be taking this chili skin from here we will putting this into the fungal media and therefore we are dropping the chili as you can see in the camera also you can see the chili and we are putting the skins oh, one has dropped out anyway this is say and this is a chili and this big one we can take this big one and and also this one this bigger one we can put this and this one also why should we leave this so we are here done with all the chili and here we will be putting the sodium acetate differential agar and we will be taking another another pipet the glass pipet and as i have said that you have to keep considerable amount of this glass pipets so This is around five ml, and on 
already is done and this is around 10 ml also another 5 ml if we can put because the chili amount of chili is a little bit higher There is no special measurement of the culture media that you can put. You can put at minimum 5 ml, you have to put minimum 5 ml and maximum 15 ml you can put. So that depends upon the presence of mass of the fungal matter, presence of fungal matter. As much as the fungal matter is high, more the fungal matter, more we have to put the culture media. So this the cork is done the cork was ready and just it is done so this uh, this is uh, till now we have completed the video after that after five days we will be finding out what this chili flex gives us is it is that is 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 there a big fungus it, it, it can be a uh, anything that I have told in my introduction video it can be myrothesium it can be porphyrus or it can be anything so let us see it, uh, my my point of view is myrothesium so let us see because the myrothesium is the most common uh, fungus which take uh, catches the vegetables so myrothesium it can be myrothesium so let us see what is there Hello friends, so we are back after four days with your red chili, dried red chili under sodium acid differential lager as you can see in my camera and that uh, it has already acquired fungus. The fungus is gathered in the culture media and the color has changed from red to almost brownish color. So this is the fungus, definitely the fungus is there. So, so let us see. Well, what fungus is it is so let us begin the experiment just we will make a first investigation today and with the help of just a pipette we will take around 3 ml of this culture media as always it has become brown so it is very much congested so we need to mix 1 ml of glycine sodium glycine sodium glycinate buffer here is our sodium glycinate buffer as you can see so just around 1 ml we will be mixing just 1 ml because it, it, it is uh, almost it will become clear so we will just mix 1 ml and it is so this is done and we will examine under this important under microscope. So it is done. The so color has changed from reddish to greenish color. The pH has changed actually. It has changed the pH of the color in the culture media. And as you can see that this is the, the camera. You can see this is greenish in color and lots of funguses are there. No lasses are there. It is almost visible in naked eye. So this fungus is visible in naked eye. This is a mold fungus, so therefore it is visible in naked eye. So let us see what fungus it is. So let us go to the microscope and we will stick it. So as you can see, the expected fungus in the red chili, and this is myrothesium. This is myrothesium mold, and almost similar to black mold with trichothecin as the expected mycotoxin this is a very big mold as you can see in the front it is floating and the microscope is focused and this is myrothecium this is the first investigation and this is myrothecium so as you can expect that this is a very bad fungus a lot of mycothes my myrothecium and uh, these are the molds and flagellas and molds this is the myrothecium 
so this is because of suspension so it is just like a net and a web actually so this is the main structure of the myelothecium you can see inside the cells the myelothecium cells are there so this is the mold and you can see the webs of the myelothecium so this is a beautiful uh, picture of myelothecium and other portions of this specimen and this is only one fungus you can see this is myelothecium may consist of tachothecin as expected but we will have a better investigation after the fluorescent imaging we will be going for the UV scan of the mycotoxin then we will decide what is there so this is our first investigation almost complete so you can see the uh, micro micro fluorescent view of this my, my uh, of this fungus you can see it is the myrothecium and the molds are you can see in the mold you can see the molds are here myrothecium molds are here but the mycotoxins are visible and as far as i can say the only not only the tachothecin ah, this is a beautiful mold in front of you this is 400 hex magnification and the view is much more magnified we have to reduce the magnification so that you can see the proper mold so the magnification is reduced to 200 x magnification and you can see the mold very beautifully you can see the mold and the microscope needs to be focused more and you can see the mycotoxins inside the blue patches are the mycotoxins so these mycotoxins are definitely not tachothecins so they are something different though they because their orientation is different so this is not trichothecin so we are going to see these mycotoxins later on but this is definitely not trichothecin this is something else so this is the myrothecium cell in front of you and these are the ejaculated mycotoxins in front of you these are not dead cells these are ejaculated mycotoxins so and this is the this is the other part of the slide so this is mycotoxins these are the mycotoxins so definitely this is a very bad fungus my my myrothecium is a very bad fungus in you can find in the uh, in, uh, internet that it, it consists of trichothecin but it does not contain trichothecin it uh, contains something else so that we are going to find out in the next part of the video of the, ah, these are the mycotoxins you can see the bunch of mycotoxins are uh, mycotoxins with cilia uh, philiums so these contains actually the mycotoxins you will find uh, in the internet that my, my myrothecium consists of tachothecin but it does not contain tachothecin or not only tachothecin it some contains something else something more so which will be revealed under the uv spectroscopy and the later part of this video so this is myrothecium you can see but these are not definitely mycotoxins uh, not the tachothecin mycotoxins these are something else the appearance in the fluorescence appearance is something else so that is a different kind of mycotoxin this is the other parts of the slide this is actually stained in IRCP stain the mycotoxin which you are which you are seeing is under IRC CP sen. Oh, this is the this is this is the glowing mycotoxin. You can see the yellow glares outside. So these are the actually mycotoxins. You can see. These are the glares. So, uh, this is a very dangerous and very beautiful looking mycotoxin, in front of you, and this is just a glare. So these are the more mycotoxins in front of you. You can see. So these are the other parts of the slide. So these are the mycotoxins, definitely the mycotoxins. On the other parts of the slide, the mycotoxins has scattered here and there. So you can see. 
these are the also small mycotoxins and nothing more uh, this is also a patch of mycotoxin and nothing more just the same so these are the other parts of the side we are most almost end of the fluorescent view and it's a focusing and you can see the mycotoxins this is oramine stain you can read this is oramine stain so we are almost the end of the part end of the slide so this is the end mylothesium Uh, the UV spectrum shows the presence of three mycotoxins the aflatoxin, the leuteroscarin and microlactic lactone and this microlactic lactone is very similar to trichothecin and therefore the mycotox mycomyrothesium is a microlactic fungus so trico only trichothecin is not possible it consists of three mycotoxins so this is all about mycothesium fungus thank you very much